Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see VPC network routes in Google Cloud Computing. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and this is the routes section under VPC for GCP. So Google Cloud routes define the path that network traffic takes from a virtual machine to the other destinations. These destinations can be inside your Google VPC network or outside. In a VPC network, a route consists of a single destination and a single next hop. When an instance in a VPC network sends a packet, Google Cloud delivers the packet to the route's next hop if the packet's destination address is within the route, route's destination range. So if you would see the routing in Google Cloud, so every VPC network uses a scalable distributed virtual routing mechanism. mechanism So these are the default routes that are available in the VPC. So there are the default route, there are subnet route. So if you would see the default route and if you would see the destination, the destination is 10.1.8.0.0, priority is 100 and the next hop is virtual network default. So these are the default routes. So if you would see uh, the default route to the internet, so the default internet gateway. So internet gateway is created to enable the uh, the traffic to go from the resource in the VPC to the internet. So if you would see the priority of the destination IP range is 000, 000 slash 0 and the, the, the next hop is the default internet gateway because this default internet gateway would route the traffic to the internet that can go from or come inside the server through the subnet well that also depends upon your firewall rules how you define them you can create a static route uh, and you can create a dynamic route as well so for dynamic route let's say ip a range that does not partially or exactly overlap with any subnet ip range and if you would come to the static you can define a static route for the traffic as well so if i you know and check this and click on create a route name is just a route network is your vpc network let's say you want to give the destination ip range go for all this for this video you can enable a different range as well Let's see we'll go with this priority. So next stop is automatically picks up is your uh, default internet gateway or you can define an instance as well or you can define an IP address or a VPN tunnel if you have the site to site VPN connectivity. Let's say you define a default internet gateway here. Uh, anything, let's say you define some fictitious IP, let's say one slash 24 okay lowest type okay i'm gonna go with 10 example i forgot i created that 16 because i created the class a network next top would be let's say you define an ip address you define the ip address here for the next hop if you are statically defining the IP address here and if you would say a VPN tunnel then define the VPN tunnel here and if you are defining the an instance then define the instance here all right so let me go with this and this would be the default internet gateway click on create and that's how you will create a route in your VPC subnet and if you would you know find it because I would have to delete that as well this is your test as a route you want to edit it click on it and edit it again and if you want to delete it just click on delete and the route will be deleted as simple as that I hope you liked this video 
if you have any queries any questions any concerns please mention them in the comment section and if you have time please join me in the next section thank you have a good day